represent 48 percent of the workforce and more than half of new hires, but statistics show only 14 percent are promoted to executive positions. Is the glass ceiling still a reality? Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver. And with me now to talk about this is Nancy Sullivan, the board chair of the Leadership Investment. Welcome, Nancy. Thanks Good for being morning. with us. Great to be here. Yeah, let's talk about the Leadership Investment. Um, how long has your organization been around and really what's your focus? We've actually been around for more than 15 years. And our focus is really on the understanding that women and men working together in a new collaborative model is the most economically profitable way to run a business. Mm -hmm. And so we have focused on developing women to assume those roles and to be able to work up higher within the organizations. Right. And we are now expanding out to include men in that role as well because we understand that it's evolving. Why is the work so important? I mean, when we give statistics like we gave at the top of the show, it really is apparent that we don't have women in these powerful positions as much as maybe we think we do. You're absolutely right. And one of the things that we see based on the research is less than 4% of all CEOs of organizations are women. When you look at women who want to aspire to that role, the question becomes, why can't they? Mm. What is standing in the way? And so our organization has really been at the forefront of determining what are those things holding women back and how can we help them not only to be successful, but to drive the success of organizations so that they can achieve those levels if that's in fact what they'd like from their career. Right. How does Colorado compare, Nancy, to other states? Um, obviously this is a drive for many different organizations. How do we fit into the national picture? Well, we think of ourselves as being very progressive, and I certainly do. We unfortunately are near the bottom of the pile in terms of how many we, women we have in high-level corporate roles and especially at that CEO level. Hmm. So we have a lot of work to do in Colorado as well. Yeah, and are there particular factors that you see as leading to that um, statistic? Are there you know, particular sectors of the economy that women are most affected in? You know, we see it across all sectors in the economy, which is why we've never focused on one individual. We really try through our 65 member companies they represent all sectors of industry and we think that's really important because we understand that it takes all of us yeah. in all sectors to help us be successful. And do you find companies coming to you to kind of get advice to say, you know, we're seeing this as a trend in our company, how do we fix this? Absolutely. And that, in fact, is what caused us to begin to embrace men in some of our programs. Mm -hmm. While our main focus has and will be women, we began to get a lot of requests from CEOs and organizations saying, but we understand that these women and men have to work together and we need the same kind of help for our men to help them be more effective in this environment. And so now we offer programming that suits men only, mm. women only, and then some that are joint so yeah. that we have both. And what has to change nationally, do you think, to make this issue go away because it really has been around for a very long time? Well, there's two ways of looking at it. One is, if we think about our daughters, would we like to give them the opportunity to be whatever they want? But the other side of it, beyond altruism, is looking at the bottom line numbers. Mm. Economically, it is more profitable. We know from research and data that having women and men as effective leaders in a new collaborative model is absolutely the most effective way to run a business. And if I were a CEO, which I have been, I would say that's where I'm going to focus because my shareholders want bottom line success. Yeah, and do you find companies that are really sticking to their guns and saying, nope, we, gotta, we can't change a thing? More and more we're finding people more enlightened, yeah. especially at that higher level, right. especially with bottom line impact at most, stake. Most definitely. Where can people go, Nancy, for more information? They can go to our website, which is theleadershipinvestment.org, and okay. all the information is on there. Excellent. Nancy Sullivan, board chair for The Leadership Investment. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.